Live from Kings Langley's CRY Stadium. Paul Muzzy brings us to you. Uh, Watford ladies versus Brighton Hove Albion ladies. Watford are bottom of the league. Brighton second from top. Um, with like 34 points, I think. Watford on just one point for the whole season. But a depleted team, very young, and uh, and yet still battling every game. It's been um, it's been a lot going on in the uh, middle of the pitch today. I apologise for the shaky camera work. I'm trying to record a vlog at the same time. Got like a little uh, injury time out there. I need to get like a stand, I think, for my phone. That'd be much better. So not quite as many people here as the uh, as the car park suggests, anyway. Which is a shame, but Wednesday night, I guess. Um, People just want to chill out halfway through, through the week. But still nil-nil here in Kings Langley. Not sure. Uh, I didn't see what happened to this player actually. Why she went down? got any questions comments or suggestions then um, please let me know also if you can hear me that'd be sweet as well let me know <laughs> um, first time streaming live uh, we're about 20 minutes in maybe I don't even know what the time is actually I might just be making that up um, oh no about half hour in I think and uh, it is Watford nil, Brighton nil. So I'll try and keep you up to date with some of the action anyway. But I'm also trying to vlog at the same time, so this might not work too well. But uh, send a message if you can hear me and let me know if you're, if you're watching and where you're watching from. Uh, and I'll keep trying to repeat throughout, but at the moment it's Watford ladies nil, Brighton Hove Albion ladies nil, uh, Watford bottom of the league with just the one point so far this season. Um, Brighton are second from top, and uh, I don't know if they still stand a chance in um, in winning the league. Guten Tag, Ground Hopping FC. How are you doing, mate? Is that uh, Joseph? Thank you for joining. Uh, so, Brighton in the white and blue, Watford yellow and red. Still defending quite well. Hamad, hello, mate. How are you doing? Thank you for joining. Uh, zoom in on the action a little bit more. As I said earlier, it's, it's unfortunate, it's so quiet here today. But although there's been no goals, it's um, it's been a fairly good game. Just a lot of battling, all, all uh, middle of the pitch really. Not too many chances by either team. Um, I guess there's been a little bit more for Frank Hitchin, the, the Watford keeper to do more than the Brighton goalkeeper but still doing well so far considering as I say Brighton are a second from top I'm just going to try and look at the look at the program if I can good quality program that Watford always supply um, what was that two pound on the gate and it was three pound entry for me 
because I'm a uh, Watford men's season ticket holder. And these sticks here, as you'll see on the vlog later, I uh, had to move myself so I've got a little bit less restricted view. Nice warm evening here in uh, Kings Langley anyway. It's probably about maybe 75 people here at a push, which is a shame, but um, what can you do? Next season, I'm sure Watford uh, are gonna be a little bit more uh, competitive in, in the league that they're gonna be in. More good defended by Watford. Brighton do always look fairly dangerous. Oh, slipped on that pitch. I tell you what, this pitch is well dodgy. We've got crop circles down here. And um, I think someone's been doing donuts in the in the middle of the pitch there. Let's see how the grass hasn't been growing. A little bit ropey, that's a shame. But something else that um, the Watford Football Club will potentially be sorting out in the summer. So as I say, two pound for the program. Good quality program on par with the uh, with the men's program. Three pound entry for me to get in, but it's usually six pound I think for adults. Throw into Brighton on the left hand side. Good communication between the uh, the Watford goalkeeper and the defenders. Well played. You know, this is easier than doing the vlog. I could just stand here and record the whole game. Legally, I'm not sure if I'm allowed to do that though. We'll find out, I suppose, when I speak to the Watford ladies general manager after the game. I'm sure he won't mind. Uh, oh, free shot. Goalkeeper's there though. Slightly worrying for, for Watford, but if they can go into the second half, nil-nil, uh, that's going to be awesome for them. They only played Brighton last week, or on the weekend. Um, Watford went 1-0 up. Uh, Simona Petkova scored the first goal for Watford, but then I think Brighton came back and, and ended up winning, I think it was 4-1 in the end. Um, but from what I understand, I didn't I didn't go to the game myself. From what I understand, uh, Watford certainly um, were equal to to Brighton in the first half and played outstandingly well, considering the amount of young players they've got on the team that they've had to bring through from the um, from the academy side and developmental side. So it's a shot. It's just wide of the uh, left hand post, but. Positive from, from Watford anyway. Hello, Dave Pearson from Norfolk. Sorry, mate, I didn't see your message. Um, thank you for, for tuning in. Paul Muzzy, live TV. Yeah, well cleared again. Uh, this Watford team certainly looking better today than um, than they did. I think that's more of a slip. Uh, looking better today than they did against um, Millwall when I came to see them last. Uh, pitch is a little bit worse for wear still. A little bit. It's shocking. My back garden looks better than this, but um, my back garden doesn't cost quite so much to to maintain. So. Brighton on the attack again. They've got player three, Katie Natkel, ex Watford. Ah. So you've got a corner ball to Brighton. I should I should probably start recording this for the vlog as well. Let's see if I can multitask. Oh shit, no I can't.
Corner ball to Brighton, cleared by Watford again. Still nil nil, is a good shot, but it's just gone over. And oh, I hope Fran's not expecting me to get that. Yeah, um, I don't know where that's gone in a bush or something. I'd look ridiculous if I went running over there. Sorry, Fran. Okay, let's um, put the other phone away now. I'm trying to vlog on that phone whilst recording on this one as well. Anyway. Ten minutes into the live recording, about 35 minutes into the game, still Watford nil, Brighton Hove Albion ladies nil, live from Kings Langley's CRY Stadium. Um, Brighton are an awesome team anyway, but Watford have um, have been particularly impressive this evening um, partly because I haven't conceded any goals yet oh here we go oh she just shut out by um, Hinchcliffe was that that was really good defending actually ball's crossed in no she's not going to get there oh no And there goes Joel, Kings Langley FC steward, steward of the year, I think it was. Uh, Frank Hitchin with a kick, <laughs> terrible at commentary. There we go. To Watford Head. Oh, and um, Helen Ward couldn't quite get on the end of that. Let me zoom in for you so you can see a little bit better. There you go. Thank you for the thumbs up anyway. Nice looking pitch is terrible, isn't it? I was just look, can you see there's like these are either crop circles or someone's been doing wheel spins or something, but um yeah, it's uh it's something they, they need to sort out. I heard um Millwall ladies last week, week before last, were moaning big time about the pitch. It's not great. You see this this massive patch in the middle of just sort of soil and a bit of sand. But I'm sure it's something that Watford will invest in over the over the summertime and try and get this pitch sorted out. The um, the stand over there, I think they're going to be. Um, putting like a new one in or making it bigger, although you don't really need to by the amount of people that are here tonight. But I'm gonna put that down to Wednesday evening traffic. Um, so if you just joined us, Watford ladies versus Brighton Hove Albion ladies, still nil nil here at Kings Langley's CLY Stadium. It's probably about um, five minutes of regular time left. Hey. Eh? Play with what? That ball that they just kicked on. Out of shape, it's was it? Out of shape. It's because they kick it so hard. I don't know, but it's, really, it's like that. <laughs> <laughs> Joel, Kings Langley, steward of the year. What a legend. He's going to go and tell everyone that now that the ball was out of shape. Apparently, the ball's out of shape. Maybe that's why Watford didn't concede in this first half so far because um, playing with a rugby ball instead. You know what, if it works, I don't care, I'm well at fuck's sake, these things keep falling on me and I need to, I just, just leave them down there, are they? Not my sticks. Uh, Watford nil, Brighton nil. Colin units. Oh shit, two Brighton attackers. Oh, offside though. And she missed anyway. Here's Fran. Everyone say hello to Fran. Shame on you, none of you said hello to Fran. I don't know why I bother. 
pull the sleeves down. It's not really shorts and t-shirt weather, but it's quite a pleasant evening. I feel like I should do more walking, like a bit of exercise around the pitch, but I just can't be asked. I've not had a cheeseburger tonight though, because I had dinner before I came out and I feel guilty. I had a packet of crisps in the Mars bar instead, but that's irrelevant. Not really going to be much for the um, for the vlog at the moment, so make the most of this. They keep getting um, a little bit of luck from that right winger crossing the ball in. Um, same with the uh, the left actually, Katie Natkel, number ten, just oh, just there, ex Watford player. Um, oh, I can't zoom out now. Oh no. There you go. Um, yeah, they keep putting it out to, to both wings. You're going to ping that straight away? It's a good save, my friend. I forgot that on video. It's her dad's birthday today, and he's going to be <laughs> a bit pissed off if I, uh, if I miss all of his daughter's best saves today. Um, Roger, I've not had a burger today. They did look delightful, but I didn't bother having one, as I was just saying, because I've just had dinner. Swinging in. Uh, uh. <laughs> right, where is Aiden? There he is. There he is. <laughs> Hello, mate. How you doing? I'll be down that next half. My first time vlogging live on uh, Facebook. Oh, another corner ball. Oh, cleared away by Watford again. <laughs> You're doing WD18's vlogs as well, are you? Ah, oh, nice. So free kick to Watford, got to only be a few minutes left if that of this first half. Still nil nil. Um, majority of the battling has uh, has been taking part in the middle of the pitch. It's probably why the pitch is so churned up over there. Um, no major incidents to talk of either. Watford still got the ball. Uh, who's is that? That's going to a Brighton throw, I think. Now they got Katie Natkill free, but oh, the striker's a lot faster than our defender, but she's just punted it past. But it went in anyway. Just before half time, so goal to Brighton. Well taken by the, the striker who uh, beat Watford's defender for pace and just um, managed to toe poke it past the goalkeeper.
Yeah, um, not a very good goal to concede at all, and at a, uh, right towards the end of the first half as well, which is a shame. Still slightly better than my camera work. It's a shame what the defence has been doing really well up until up until that goal. Still battling hard in the midfield though. Pass did not go to the intended recipient. Still battling. If they can get one back before half time. No one there. So as we approach half time at Kings Langley Stadium, it's uh, Watford nil, Brighton Hove Albion ladies one. Uh, Watford, bottom of the league in position 10, I think it is. Brighton, second in the league. But still all to play for. And ball. Yeah, that's given. <laughs> A little ripple of cheers from the uh, from the crowd there. I don't know why the referee's been um, been fairly good tonight. I think. So. Free kick to Watford. Uh, looks like it's in the in the centre circle, just outside of it. Rolls all the way through to the Brighton goalkeeper. If we win, I'm going to do a pitch invasion. Just broken free again, faster than the defender. Oh, just off the crossbar, I think. The keeper may have got a fingertip to that. There you go, well played. Simone Petkova. Oh, it's just that final ball to one of the strikers that we're missing. If we can supply the strikers with a better ball, then um, we'll definitely be in more of a chance. But Trip, another trip. Going back, Kate now caught on the right, uh, left wing. Ball crossed in, headed away. She's so fast, but not fast enough to catch up with that, unfortunately. Control, well played back to the uh, left back. Pushing forward into the box. Cleared away by the Watford defence again. She's going to have another opportunity to cross it in. She does free head up, but uh, doesn't quite get a head behind it. And that's half time then. Uh, Watford nil. Brighton Hove Albion ladies one.